interviewing, actually. All right, what you got for me? Um, why don't you tell us about the Emerald Empress and kind of what you, how you approach the role? Mm. Okay. <laughs> She's really bad. She is literally the most evil, formidable, just downright mean character I have ever experienced. <laughs> so, uh, I think, you know, I did my requisite, like, you know, Google searching Wikipedia and learning about what I could about her. But I think, I think the main part, the, the real creation part of it is once you get into that voiceover booth and you're, you know, sitting, sitting, you're in the booth and you're across the glass from, you know, Bruce Tim and uh, the director for this, Wes Gleason, who are amazing. And, and Sam Liu and like you just you, you get there you put out what you think it sounds like and then the great you know they, they you know help tweak it they are the ones who really like know the like deep deep you know history of it and I love the to me I love that you know co-creation part of it it takes you know it takes everyone on the team so I feel like I did my back I did my homework but where she ended up is a lot, uh, a lot to do with feedback that I got to from, from our director and the rest of the creative team. Do you enjoy playing a villain, or would you rather be the heroine? I, you know, I've been so fortunate. I played mostly heroes, so I, you know, this is. I, I was telling Bruce actually. The Emerald Empress, I feel like, started some trend for me because we voiced it a while ago. But like after voicing her, I then started to see a trend. I. I I wasn't getting cast as heroes, and I was getting cast as villains, and I don't know what happened, and I'm still like, because before, I, when I was a hero, I would literally tell myself, oh, I must, I just must be so good at my heart that they just, I can't seem to, like, cross that bridge, so I, I guess that's why they cast me as heroes, and then all of a sudden, I'm kept playing all these villains, like, oh, dang, I can't use that excuse anymore, I don't know what happened, but I absolutely love it. I mean, it's, you get to play. It's it's taking all those like little negative thoughts that we have that we put away, we don't act on, and we, you know, deal with, and we move about our day. And the Emerald Empress, man, she, when you see the movie, you will know. I mean, my husband and I watched it, and afterwards he came out, and he, like, he finished before I did. I, I finished wrestling, but he came out of the room and was like, Oh my god, your character is so mean. The meanest, meanest character I have ever seen. I was like, really? And I could, I knew from reading it that she was mean, but then when you see the visuals, and the, with the, I mean, the music in this thing is amazing, and you see it all put together, and then you see what the things that she does, and what, I mean, you, she reaches a level of mean that like it just blows your mind you're like she was already bad enough in the beginning and then she, that you'll you'll know at one point in the movie she's like oh and then i think i'll do this and you're like what like how did you how did you how does that thought even enter somebody's mind like that's that, that's how, but when you're when i'm in the booth you know like i'm like focused on okay and i'm i'm just so in character and i realize that it's me but until you see it all put together, I think for me, it's like, wow. So I loved it. I love the experience of it. But when I see it, I think I'm actually a little bit, it made me a little nervous. <laughs> so, but I hope the fans love well, it. The movies can get darker. Yes. Right? Yeah, this movie, this is a, this is pretty intense. Uh, but what I, what I will say, with, one of the things I love about this movie is that it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of heart to it, too. So while it's intense, there's a lot of heart to it. There's the new characters in this movie are phenomenal. The newer characters, I should say, you know, like, and the relationship between Starboy and Jessica Cruz, literally, like, it made me cry at the end. I mean, I don't mean to, like, I don't mean to sound so, because I'm not, a, I, I, I don't, I don't normally cry during these things, and I got to the end, and I was literally, I was really choked up. It's, it's, it's really, I think it's it's a great combination of balance of intensity, lightheartedness, and fun. How does Emerald Empress see the Justice League? Are they, Ugh. could they ever be on the same page? <laughs> Emerald Empress doesn't, I, Justice League is nothing. <laughs> nothing. 
to the Emerald Empress. Well, she is an Nats. empress. Nats. Not even the, like half the size of Nats. They are nothing. They're amoebas. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. They're not. They're they're so. They're in, They're so inconsequential. Yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see the movie. So you said um, you collaborated with the directors and showrunners to find that voice. Yeah. How did how did you put yourself in that headspace every day to do that voice once you found it? Okay, I have to admit, it's been a while, so I have, you know, every character has their kind of, every actor has a little hook for their character. A lot of, a lot of it for me is very physical. I know, like, for, um, for this character, she's, you know, she's, a, she's, she's a little bit languid, but she has that regal quality to her, so I think when I voice her, I get into it that way, and uh, so this came up in another interview. The first, the first line that I usually work on in terms of when I create help, you know, when I come into the booth and we're working on finding that voice, that tends to be the one of the grounding lines for her. So I think it's a combination of like my physical stance when I voice her, which is royalty, but with a kind of sexy languid quality, <laughs> and. Her first line in the in this movie is uh, is mono, the you know one of the other Fatal Five members. So, uh, and the way she says that gets you right in there. So when you see the movie, and you hear me. That's the those are the first words out of my mouth, and that was it. And they you know we I think it was smart that we when we started recording we started at that line because it really sets the tone for her. Can you make it through all of Prey 2? Are you any good? I wish I could. I wish I could. I love the, the goo gun, the, the goo cannon. Yeah. That's like my favorite. I watch Twitch, I, I watch videos of people playing it, <laughs> but I can't play. It's a hard, it's a hard I game. I, um, I, all, most of the games that I do, I can get to the character creation, okay. and I like, I'll create my character, and then I'll get, like, I get stuck in that first round, which is terrible. Like, I don't, I, I never get past but Those creatures in Prey freak me out. The Mimics? Yeah, the Mimics, right? Yeah, I finished it, but she'll tell you, I, I was swearing up a storm when I was playing that game. It's going, hard. Going, you, you gotta be kidding me, who, who makes this stuff up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The one that like it, it shoots out like the glue and it makes them like kind of frozen. Yeah, yeah. that oh, was yeah, my yeah. favorite. I, I love those. I can never tire of but watching those like videos. Stuff, like, like you have, there's all sorts of clues up. Like there, there are like safe passwords. Yeah, yeah. Like there are pack combinations that yeah. you have to use to unlock. And I'm like, this is so like, what is gaming become? It's so it's, complicated. It's, that is a hard game. That is a hard game. I, uh, or at least as so I've heard. <laughs> I don't know, because I, I, I suck at them. <laughs> but I'm happy that I get to voice them. You do a good job. Thank you. I love that. Oh, good. Good, good, good. So, um, like, how does the Empress differ from somebody, when you're playing her, somebody like Agent Tierney on Star Wars Resistance, who's, I guess, more of a, more of a kind of, uh, oh, I want to help you. Know, kind yeah. of like underhanded, kind of passive-aggressive sort of bureaucrat. Oh yeah, they, they, uh, they access their evil and, I mean, <laughs> I, but yeah, but tyranny, tyranny is like evil with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> um, Emerald Empress is, is more evil with a, with a scowl, I, I, I think. There, there's, with Tyranny, like there's actually, uh, there's actually a memory that I've built into my mind that I relive whenever I voice her. So um, that allows me to kind of get into that place of, you know, kind of how she moves about, how she how she moves through the world. With the Emerald Empress, she just, she just mean. She has like one goal, and that is like just evil, evil. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank so you. Well. You're not evil, Gary. Well, you just